What's up, Jacob here? It is another beautiful August day here in the Florida Keys. Today we are yellowtail snapper fishing. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to catch yellowtail snapper. Now when I say yellowtail snapper, there's definitely a lot of other fish you can catch. I mean, pretty much any of the snappers, grouper, uh, Spanish mackerel, yellow jack. I even had some smaller schoolie dolphin come with my boat in this depth of water. We're in about 80 feet right now. And we already went to one spot, chummed a little bit, didn't get any fish to come up. So I went and looked at the down scan for a little bit. Finally, I found some fish and some structure. So we're gonna drop another chum block in so we can get some fish to come up. Let's get to fishing. All right, we're getting our chum set up. I got the chum bag in the water down there. Tied up to this cleat right here. We're spot locked right now with the trolling motor. So the current is going behind us. So that's good. It's gonna put that chum line right behind the boat with this beautiful yummy chum out of this box. Now, a lot of times if you have like, take like plastic gloves or something, uh, not plastic, whatever they're made out of, you can use those. Once you get your hands chummy, they're gonna smell like chum for a little bit, so. All right, I got the chum block in there without getting too chummy on my hands. Just kind of use the box to kind of plop it in there. We're gonna sit here and soak this thing, let it fall out and get that chum line going back there. Try to bring those yellow tail up and down low. See that chum line kind of falling behind us. A cloud of smoke, that's all chum following the current back there we're gonna have fishies follow it back to us all right so what we got here is a little bit of bait chum and there's oats mixed in with it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some water to this and make like peanut butter so we just add some salt water to it looks like a yummy morning breakfast right there stir it up really good and then let this sit for about five to 10 minutes so it can soak all this water in. Make sure you get all the way to the bottom of the bucket. Otherwise you'll have a big dry spot in the bottom. Once this is done and really thick, like almost like peanut butter, we'll take this and we'll make like a ball out of it. And you can actually throw it down and it'll sink. So what we're doing right now is essentially testing the spot. So it's pretty important not to just like go somewhere, throw your chum in, just start fishing. Cause there's a chance the fish might not even be there. You're just gonna waste all your time and all your chum. They definitely attracted some birds. Now we gotta get the fish though. Yeah, and you give it a good 30 minutes. Sometimes it's pretty obvious you got fish behind you. You'll see them start piling up right on this chum bag, right on this chum line. We're almost through our one chum block. All right, so we've soaked the chum bag at the second spot quite a bit. We're getting a lot more action over here on this Garmin. You can see that's most likely yellowtail or some bait over here. So we're definitely starting to see some fish at this spot. Dropping a little pest oat ball down there. See if we can get mama yellowtail to eat. All right, we just started to find some fish. Jason's got a nice one on. It might be a mutton. That's a little mutton. Yeah, it's a little mutton. He won't be a keeper, yeah, but they're a beautiful fish. A little mutton. Yeah, he won't be 18. No. Yeah, they're beautiful fish, though. Yeah, we're definitely starting to find fish. Nice and easy. Beautiful mutton. He's probably about 14 inches, maybe 15. There you go, buddy. All right, we found fish. I'm gonna get my chesty on, get some lines on the water. All right, so rule with yellowtail that I'm think I'm breaking day, I can't remember or not. The other day I was fishing for fish that weren't yellowtail, so I've got 30 pound fluoro on here. You typically want like 12 or less when fishing for yellowtail snapper because they're very finicky fish, but oh, Jason took up. <laughs> like I was saying, I'm gonna try it with a 30 pound fluoro, just see if they'll eat. If they're not eating me and they keep eating them, then I'll go ahead and retile with some 12 pound fluoro on there. But we're gonna give it that full send anyways. All right, getting all hooked up on here. Drop our crusher jig back there. Jason's got another on there. Grunt. Yeah, when our trim bag a little shaky shake. If he catches another fish before I do, I will be putting on 12 pound fluoro. Ah, oh, he's keep too. I think he'll be 12. Those tails are so long. There we go, that's a nice little hit. Swallow it. There we go. Come this way, buddy. Definitely small, whatever it is. It's a yellowtail. Uh, he'll, he'll probably keep. He'll probably, uh, he might be 11. We'll see. Come here, little buddy. Poor guy, he didn't even get a snack before he probably dead. All right, oh yeah, he's, he's 12 and a half. Almost 13. That's a keep right there. He's got some little black dots on his head. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah. Is he Sometimes yellow? they're not nicer. Sometimes they just fight hard. Yeah, no, yellowtail do fight pretty hard. Nice. We're not getting small ones though. I well, a lot, of, a lot of time when I like inches, fish though, for right? yellowtail, I'm catching eight and nine inches. We're at least catching all keepers. He'll, he'll be 14. Yeah, he's definitely 
What's up, little yellow? I think he'd be like 10 and a half, 11. Bring that bait back up. Scale off the hook. There we go. Just took a little minute. Not a big one, but he might just not be fighting hard. Oh, and he popped off right there. If he wasn't big, I'm not gonna sweat that one. So much you wanna do with these casts, you cast it out there a little bit. Let that current go ahead and start taking you back and down till you find those yellowtail. Keep it somewhat a little bit tight, not too much slack so it can feel something eats it. All right, we got our fish in the bucket. We got four yellow tails and a dog snapper. Gonna get them up here and fillet them. <laughs> hey, I see you catching them. They might not be big, but they're fish. Really? What were you going for? Whatever fish. <laughs> you guys just catching bait right now? Yeah, that was the dog snapper. He was about 17. They look kind of like a mangrove. They just got some more yellow on them. We are starting to prepare all the goodies for our fish tacos. So we've got the seasoned batter right here. The fish are gonna be egged in heavy whipped cream, I believe is that mixture. And then rolled around in this and throwing in that fry. We got some frijoles with onions and green peppers. Poblano peppers. Poblano peppers. That's some nice red cabbage to make it look prettier. pieces first, put our thicker pieces in, give them a little extra cook time. We have made it to the yummy fryer. There's no prettier sight than that. All right, we'll save these thinner pieces for our next round. And fry. You want some fish, Parker? First batch is done. Tasty. Inside, Parker. All right, here's the official lineup. We got our rice here. We got some black beans, some pic pickled jalapeno peppers right here. We got some red cabbage, good old mango salsa. Got our tortillas right here. Corn for us gluten-free fellers. We got our fish. Looking beautiful as ever. And then Parker. Starting with some rice. I could probably eat this whole bowl. Beans. Grab my tortilla. Not fishy. Grab a lot of this mango salsa. Biggest part of this taco. Got sweet chili sauce. There we go. And voila. That's the meal. Now you guys get to watch me eat.
I could eat this every day. The good stuff. All right, that does it for our fish tacos. I'm four tacos in. Those things were incredible. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Appreciate the support. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It helps a lot more than you think. Like the video, comment. It all just helps more than you could possibly know. It means a lot. Appreciate you guys so much. Stay tuned for the next one.